Hello YouTube Vintage Stereo Restorers. Just a really quick little tip here, something I figured out a couple years ago. Here is the stereo dial lamp, stereo indicator from this Sony STR6045 receiver. Small wheat bulb, I think you call those. And it comes out of the MPX section right here and it's driven by a transistor gets turned on and it actually takes it's about 18 volts DC gets put to ground through the bulb okay and what's been kind of a problem with a lot of them is you either can't get the bulbs anymore and I've got a whole bag of different um, bulbs some 6 volt, some 12 volt, some 3.8 volt some of them fit, some of them don't fit, some of them are wrong color. But what I have that's really plentiful, I've got several bins of LEDs. And LEDs are really cheap now. Anyway, here's what I figured out that's kind of a little bit of a revelation. I'm just going to see if I can show it to you in there. The end of that red wire is a red LED. And it's just hooked directly to the original wire. Now the original wire is hooked to basically 18 volts DC and through the transistor which grounds that circuit out. And I found this same design circuit where you have a transistor turned on by the MPX section. You can put an LED in that circuit without any kind of a series resistor and it will work perfect. I'll give you an example, this one here is a 2.1 volt DC LED. Um, you can run them high as 2.5, a red like that. Um, basically 20 milliamps maximum current. And if you meter it, you'll find that, hey, there's 2.1 volts and 20 milliamps of current passing through it. The transistor in conjunction with the LED works as a regulator and it's at its exact right speed or not <laughs> speed I'll show you here enough to illuminate it just come around to the dial right there and we'll flip it on and it's on the station I don't know which one but as you can see the stereo lamp is on turning on that LED at the proper voltage and I've done this on many receivers and many tuners, and it works. I used to put a dropping resistor in, I'd find the voltage was too low or out of whack. And that's because it will only draw what it needs to draw in that type of circuit. So anyway, the basic premise of it is, if you can't get the right kind of bulb to go in there, in a stereo indicator circuit, you can substitute an LED if you have the correct polarity and it's DC voltage through a transistor. Uh, other ones, like this looks like the original type of bulb for the meter and it works. I put two new LED fuse lamps in here and actual 8 volt bulbs. I've kind of gotten away from using the, uh, uh, I can put it, wait, the multi-string SMD LED ones, I've had some of them fail very quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening.